this is a book review of The Awakening by Kate Chopin. This book was published in 1899 and it is considered a masterpiece not only of southern fiction but also one of the earliest feminist works. So of course, you know, I loved it. The story follows the awakening of our main character Edna, a married woman with two children living in Creole society in Louisiana. She discovers her dissatisfaction with her marriage and the strict ideals of motherhood that are present in the Creole society, and she desires to find herself as an independent entity. Of course, things go badly. This is a tragedy. The first thing I want to address is you do not have to like the main character of a work of fiction in order to appreciate the work or even like the work or realize that it is good literature, take The Great Gatsby or The Catcher in the Rye, for example. While I personally don't have a problem with the character of Edna, I have heard her described as whiny and selfish, which I can see why people would say that. My advice to you if you're reading this book and you don't like Edna is to try to put yourself in her position. Imagine being forced into a life you can't escape, being boxed in by societal norms, and slowly fading away with no means of getting out. That's what's happening to Edna even as she tries to awaken herself. And if you can't put yourself in Edna's shoes, try to focus on the overall social commentary and the point the novel is trying to present to you. I feel like I say this all the time, but I can't think of any other way to put this. The language is fantastic and beautiful and so rich. It's, to quote Lena from Just Kiss My Frog, a little dense with detail in the beginning, but as you get further into the novel, the story just unwinds and presents itself before you, and it becomes a lot easier to read. The prose and imagery makes me feel like I'm in a Monet painting, and that may be partially to this cover, which is not my favorite, but I do quite like. While I was reading, I was seeing brights and pastels, and they all started running together at some points, and it was so cool. That's probably also due to the fact that there's a lot of water and imagery of fluidity in this novel. It's very cool, very prevalent, very symbolic, that's all I'm going to say about that. My favorite metaphor in this book is probably the passage that opens the novel that discusses the caged bird. As I was reading, I was just thinking, that's it, that's Edna, the bird is Edna, and it's such a beautiful, appropriate, tragic metaphor. This book was loaned to me by my best friend Sarah, whom you may have seen in a couple of previous videos. Sarah and her AP English classmates had to read this book over the summer and then discussed it when they got back to class, and it was very interesting to hear from Sarah how everyone reacted to this book. I think this is one of those novels you would have an extreme reaction to or a novel that would stir up a lot of feelings, emotions, and opinions. It's really interesting to see how people react to this novel and I'd love to know how you reacted and what your thoughts were. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I would love to read it again to try to absorb more of what Kate Chopin is trying to get across and just to revisit the prose because the prose is so beautiful. Painting. Just, just painting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep up with what's going on in my life with the links to my social media below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.